Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You want an education that's going to take you places. To know that your instructors are going to support you when the work gets hard and cheer you on when you succeed. You want programs that fit with your busy life, challenge you, and put you on the path to the career you've always wanted. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Can't accept the loss, I'm hard headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great, and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up, big energy, got the crowd going nuts. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any of them, I take on anyone, I don't need a one no one I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all bite, no bark, I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh. so what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. You don't want your education to be on hold. You want an education in HVAC that prepares you for good jobs right now, where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately, and you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, 
fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You want an education that's going to take you places. To know that your instructors are going to support you when the work gets hard and cheer you on when you succeed. You want programs that fit with your busy life, challenge you, and put you on the path to the career you've always wanted. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Can't accept the loss, I'm hard headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great, and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going up. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any of them. I take on anyone, I don't need the one no one I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all bite, no bark I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh. so what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? You got to see a bitch like me The Bank of Delight has become one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. Go Curly Wolves! You don't want your education to be on hold. You want an education in HVAC that prepares you for good jobs right now, where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately, and you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can. Welcome to Swark Dot Today, Jim Honey, along with Brandon Honey. We are in Falk, Arkansas, as the Prescott Curly Wolves are set to play the Falk Panthers. This is a third game of the conference play for both teams. Prescott comes in five and one overall and two and zero in conference play. Falk is four and two and one and one in conference play. So this is a another big game for conference. Um, I guess you'd say. Uh, finishing as far as the numbers and, and who's going to be what seed coming out of our conference. Prescott had the big win last week over Junction City, which is expected uh, to finish second. Uh, they played this Falk Panther team a couple of weeks ago and won 55 to 20. So it's going to be interesting to see if uh, you know how the emotions and things are going. There was some some things that happened here in the school at Falk today, as far as one of the students was was injured in an accident, and so I know that's going to be on the minds of the players. It's, it's one of their classmates, and so uh, that's going to be something that's going to play into this game is the emotional side. Yeah, it's something that uh, your team can, uh, can you know really rally around uh, and, and come out and, and want to play for your teammate that can't be here. 
and uh, play for your buddy. Uh, but it's uh, it's also something that that's going to weigh heavy on their minds all night. Right. Uh, not not having him out there with them. Uh, but uh, yeah, coming off that win last week for Prescott with uh, Junction City, big win. They played great. Uh, played good, clean football. Uh, Got to continue that here tonight. It is a muddy field. As, as much rain as we got in at home on Wednesday and uh, even some into Thursday, uh, they got more down here. So the field is really, really soggy. You can see it, especially on both ends of the field. Uh, so by the time the game's over tonight, it could be quite a bit uh, mud-stained uniforms for the Curly Wolves in their white jerseys. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think that kind of kind of helps out Falk a little bit in, in their kind of uh, in their game plan. At least uh, they like to run the ball a lot, uh, more of a 60-40 a, a ratio for them running and passing. Uh, they're kind of one of those offenses that wants to lull you to sleep running the football and then try to take a shot uh, off play action. Um, Prescott, on the other hand, wants to spread you out, throw it around a little bit. So uh, it, it's going to be kind of. How, how, how can they adapt to the field conditions? Uh, can uh, are, the, are the receivers able to make their quick cuts like we're used to them seeing on, on a soggy field? Hands are going to get wet. Can you bring in passes, that kind of thing? Can you hold on to the football? Uh, Got to be mistake-free tonight. And uh, I, I think whichever team can do that is going to come out with a win. Turnovers could be a key with this wet field. Uh, Curly Wills will kick it away to start the game tonight. You got Sprayberry, number 23, back deep to receive. You have Dixon. And also number six back deep. And I've got to, I have to defer to you, Brandon, to see if you can see number six. It's going to be Noah Pittman. Pittman. I did not have that number on my list. So Brandon has the better eyes for the smaller riding. Robin Don set to kick it away. And the ball is going to be received by Sprayberry at the 15. Comes right up the middle. Good tackle there by Tayshawn Smith, or he would have gone to the to the end zone. Yeah, he had Tayshawn to beat, and Prescott was going to be relying on Robidon to try to make a tackle, and it's hard to make a tackle on one-on-one -on -one in, in that much open space. But a good job by Tayshawn to bring him down. Uh, Panthers are going to have great starting field position here. Nice to have a, a good solid linebacker on the, on the back end of that to make that stop. First and 10 foul, they'll take over on their own 42-yard line. Clock never started, so I'm not sure. I think they're maybe trying to work on it a, a little bit. The uh, officials are pointing to the clock. I know at one time that they used to have an official that kept the mm -hmm. clock on the field. I don't know if that's done anymore or not. As we wait for the clock situation to get started, they've got it down to 11.54. That looks like they that's going to be an acceptable starting spot for the clock. Number 13, Buckley, Bulkley, excuse me, will be your quarterback. He is a sophomore, six foot, and it has him listed at 130 pounds. All spread out for the Panthers. Bulkley drops back to pass. He's looking for receiver deep. He's got Sprayberry back there. Benton knocks it away. Good job of recovery there for Benton. Yeah, ball thrown a little bit behind uh, the receiver there. And Benton kept his eyes on it, was able to make a good play. Uh, probably would have liked to see him pick that off, turn around, and, and make a good return on it. But uh, great job to knock that one away from the receiver. Sprayberry is their starting tailback and he was split out wide that time and had gotten behind Benton. And as you say, the pass was a little bit behind him. Might should let that one go a little sooner and he would have caught him in stride. Second down, 10. Bulkley gives the ball to Sprayberry. Not much room there in the middle of the Curly Wolf defense as they stop him for no gain. Yeah, he stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. Good start for the Curly Wolf defensive line there. Third down and 10. 
Host of Curly Wolves on that stop. Looks like maybe Muhammad was the first to get to him. Oh, and the receiver's going to start off, and that's going to cost him five. That was Greer. A little anxious on that. Yeah, I'm sure that was a running play coming to this left side. He was trying to get out in front and uh, get a good block there on, on his man. Brings up third and 15. Bulkley going to drop back to pass. He's a little screen to number two, Dixon, and he almost got to the first down marker. Good tackle there by Tayshawn Smith. Yeah, good job by Tayshawn to read that, come back and, and make a tackle there right at almost right before he got to midfield, but it's going to bring up fourth and short. This is one of those that play calls that a lot of coaches will just try to get you up there and see if they can get you to jump off sides. So it's where your defense has to be disciplined. And I heard, I hear him hauling. Watch, well, they're going to snap it. Bulkley rolls out to his right. Rocco Patrick gets there. Make throw is away. And great catch there by Dixon. That was a nice throw and catch. Yeah, good uh, simple out, out route there. Past the, past the sticks. Bulkley was able to find him uh, rolling to his right and put a good uh, pass to his wide receiver there. Fowler's kind of coming out with a, a little bit of uh, not trick plays, but just kind of what Prescott wasn't expecting. They were mm -hmm. expecting to come out running plays, uh, kind of what they've seen on film. Uh, but they've come out showing that they're trying to throw the ball a little bit. First and 10 Panthers into Curly Wolf territories. Ball given to Sprayberry. Good tackle there by Page, first to get to him. Sprayberry had a successful season last year running the ball, and uh, he has already had some good games so far this year. Got Lansdale, number five, and Dixon, number two, to the left. Ball given to Sprayberry again. Muhammad just couldn't quite get to him. A good tackle there by both. Uh, J.K. Jones and Page. Good job by J.K. coming down from that safety spot. K.J. coming from his linebacker spot. And Tayshawn was just right there on the end of it as well. So it breaks it a third and eight. I really thought he was going to get more yards than that when he first got through the line. But good, good closing speed by the safety and linebacker. Third down and eight. Bulkley drops back to pass. Smith comes out him. Oh, a great catch that time by Dixon. Excellent job. A great job of getting elevated, getting his arms up, bringing that one in and able to get a foot down. Pouts moving the ball with some momentum. Bulkley showing that he's got a pretty good arm. 18 yards on the play. So these Falk Panthers are coming out here Fired up, and we we talked about that. They're they're, they're inspired. They've got uh, something they're playing for uh, tonight. Number eleven now in the backfield for the Panthers. Bulkley is going to keep it. Not much room that time around the left side. Good job there by Tayshawn Smith. Going to be a loss of five yards. So, so far the Panthers have been successful putting the ball in the air. Running the ball, they have they're, they're minus yards. They have not been able to get much going on the ground yet. Sprayberry back in the game now at tailback. Bulkley gives the ball to Sprayberry. Has some room up the middle. Good run there by Sprayberry down to about the 21. Quick hit and draw play there. Game of seven yards. Sprayberry's having him a good drive. Good 
Twin receivers out to each side. We have yet to see Lansdale get his hands on the ball, and he is their, probably the most talented receiver. Bulkley dropping back to pass. Oh, he's hit by Smith right as he threw it. Bulkley's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Looks like Bulkley is, is settling in on Dixon so far tonight. Of course, he's made some great mm -hmm. catches. I can see why. Uh, Gleason was in great coverage there as well. Just couldn't quite get his arms underneath that one or he would have had a pick. Talon Smith came in with a lot of pressure on that off the edge and was able to put a hit on Bulkley as he was getting rid of it. Fourth down and nine. I think Coach Patrick may dial up something here again to, to send some, some extra pressure on him. Bulkley drops back to pass, has time, gets it away, knocked away that time by Gleason, and a good job. Uh, that That's the way that you can get the ball back at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, good job to knock that one down. Good coverage there. Both safeties roaming the middle of the field. Bulkley was trying to go over, uh, let the ball up a little bit too high, but defensive backs were in a great position to make a play. Presky will start their first offensive possession on their own 22-yard line. 6.59 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Falk had a very successful drive there to start this ball game. Defense was able to step up and prevent them from getting into the end zone. Yates with Harris in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's looking deep. He's looking for White. Oh, and White couldn't just couldn't come up with that one right off his fingertips. Yeah, great effort laid out for it. Just couldn't quite bring that one in. Good job by Pierce to lay that one out there to let him go get it. Makes it a second down and 10 now for the Curly Wolves. It's one thing about Prescott. They're willing to take a shot from just about anywhere on the field. Send Gully in motion. We'll give him on the jet sweep. He turns it upfield and has lots of room and we'll get out over the 40 yard line. Good run there by PJ Gully. Yeah, good to get PJ going early quick here tonight. Little jet sweep to the to that left side. Only had one man to beat. Good stop by Falk to, to prevent the, the huge play. Gates gives the ball to Harris. Stretch out to the right side and the good tackle just grabbed hope his jersey number 25 for foul that's L lane lundy a great job of holding on to him three receivers to the left yates quick pass out to hubbard Good job by Hubbard just to get four or five yards out of that. Okay, good quick pass out to Hubbard. He had a great game last week. Getting started early tonight. Third down and six. Need some positive yards here. If you can't get the first down, you set yourself up with an opportunity to get Something on fourth down. Good run there by Harris right up the middle, and they're not going to catch him. You know, that, and I think that's where he is most successful is really just hitting it quick and hard. Yeah. Uh, simple draw play out of the gun. Got Genoa past the line of scrimmage, and like you said, he's able to, to kick it into gear and, and get to that second level and just outrun the defenders. Uh, great start for the Curly Wolves tonight on their first drive, punching it into the end zone. 5.34 to go first quarter. Rabadon on for the extra point. With the extra point, it is up. And it is no good. Off to the left. Uh, that's a muddy part of the field down there. So Prescott leads six to nothing. We want to thank our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. 
UAHT Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. UAHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. Also, we want to remind you, if you haven't had the opportunity already, to go in and subscribe on our YouTube channel for SWART.today. Brandon can tell you exactly how to do it. Click subscribe, then you hit the like button to like this current video, and then hit the bell that's also there, and we'll turn on notifications, so you'll get a notification every time SWART posts a video if you're interested in that kind of thing. That is a benefit to SWARC.today, so if you wouldn't mind doing that, there's no cost involved. If you wouldn't mind doing it, it would help us out as well. Robbie Don with the kick. Sprayberry comes up, takes it at the 20. Looks to try to break it outside, and Tayshawn Smith will make the tackle at about the 41-yard line again. Yeah, another good return by Sprayberry, showing that he, he is a weapon for this Panthers team, uh, setting him up with good starting field position again. I've noticed some of the, the players, especially on the kickoff coverage team, as they come back down, as they come down the field, they're really having to take their time when they break down because of the muddy part of the field. I don't know if y'all can see it from the camera's perspective, but in that area of the, of the field, it's really muddy. First and 10 Panthers. Ball given to Sprayberry up the middle. Good job by Page and Muhammad for no gain. That's a great job to stop Sprayberry before he's able to get a really good head of steam going. Bring up a second down in 10. I'll give him to Sprayberry again over this left side. He cuts it back into the middle of the field. A good gain out about five yards for Sprayberry. Yeah, good job by Sprayberry to put his foot in the ground and, and get upfield. Going to have a good gain. It, it, really impressive that he's able to keep his footing as well as he had in that particular part of the field. You can tell that it's awfully wet right there. Third down and a long five. Lansdale and Dixon split to your right. Oh, and Raptor jumps offside, and that'll give him a free five. It won't be enough for the first, but it will give them a third and short situation. Yeah, Falk will take Falk will take those free yards all night long. And Prescott will give them to them, especially in a big third down situation like this. It's about a half a yard short. Bulkley gives to Sprayberry. It looks like he will. It's like uh, Talon Smith kind of threw him for a first down. It's going to be close. Let's see where they mark it. Nope, they give him no gain. I thought he got it with forward progress. I knew they hit him behind the line mm -hmm. of scrimmage, but I thought he, like you said, got thrown uh, further forward for the first down. And it was a good, good solid tackle that time by Talon Smith. Coaches are thinking about their play. They have not decided. I don't know if they're going to let this run down. It looks like they're going to call a timeout. So I see the coach speaking to the official. And there's the timeout. We've got 3.13 to go here in our first quarter. Prescott's leading 6 to nothing. We have a big fourth down coming up for the Panthers. We want to thank our uh, some of our other supporting sponsors, Dalrymple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home, the funeral home we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Birkin Walker, you can count on Birkin Walker. 
to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. Big fourth down play coming up here in the first quarter. Falk attempted a fourth down on their first possession uh, at the 22-yard line and was unsuccessful. This one is a little bit more of an, an easier, manageable uh, fourth down here with it being fourth down and less than a yard. It's like that maybe lands down in the backfield with Bulkley. Yeah, he will get the first down. Good hard run there by Bulkley. Yeah, tough run, lower to shoulder. Wasn't afraid of contact there. Good hard run. Number 11 in the backfield for the Panthers. It's Joshua Scoggins. Scoggins. We're going to throw a little quick pass out to him. Makes a catch, and good job there by the Curly Wolf defense to make the stop. Yeah, great job by Burton to get out from his defensive end spot, getting out to the flat on that uh, short pass to the uh, running back to bring him down for – Loss of two. Second down and 12 now. Bulkley drops back to pass. Goes deep. He's looking for Sprayberry. He's got him. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Panthers. 50-yard pass play from Bulkley to Sprayberry. Yeah, Falk just kind of lulling the sleep, like we talked about. Uh, just run after run after run, and then and then pulling it and taking a shot downfield. They snuck uh, Sprayberry in there to, to run that wheel route down the sideline, kind of like what they did in the first play of the game, and was able to hit him in stride this time. Number 20 on for the extra point for the Panthers. Kick is up, and it is good. And the Panthers take a lead, 7-6 to six over the Curly Wolves. With two minutes and two seconds to go here in this first quarter. Thank you to State Farm Insurance. We are here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. No way pulpwood, authentic American lager. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. Two good drives so far for the Panthers. Uh, that one, of course, was able to get points on the board. The first one, they got all the way down to the 22-yard line and it stalled out. But uh, a big 50-yard touchdown pass from Bulkley to Sprayberry. Gives the Panthers the lead. Curly Wolves now looking to have to answer here. Number four, Jalen Johnson back deep for the Curly Wolves. It's going to be a high kick. It's going to be taken by White at about the 20 yard line. Cuts it right up to the middle of the field, and we'll get out to about the 31. Good coverage there by the Falk defense. Yeah, we've seen Dwayne a lot of times this year uh, make that first guy miss and able to get down the sideline or up the middle and really use his speed uh, to, to run away from, from guys. But a great job there by Falk to corral him. And they're going to start here at the 30-yard line. Curly Wolf offense takes the field. Go, 
Three receivers to the right. Harris in the backfield with Yates. Quick pass out to Johnson. It was too wide, incomplete. Pierce threw that one before Jalen was able to get out of that route. He wasn't able to get back to it. Just led him a little bit too too far back. Second down, 10. Yates gives the ball to Harris. And boy, he's met right in the hole that time. Good, good defensive stop there by number 61, number three. That was Dakota Escobar and Jackson McMurray there on the tackle for the Panthers. It's going to bring up a third down and 12. Yates drops back to pass. Looking from White. He's got it. And he's going to be stopped short of the first down at about the 40. They're going to mark him out of bounds, though, at about the 38. Good route there by Dwayne. Great job to go up and get it. The ball was thrown a little high. I wonder if Pierce is having a hard time gripping a wet ball. Fourth down and two for the Curly Wolves. Yates is going to keep it. He will have the first down out to the 44-yard line. Good, good strong run there by Yates. Yeah, Falk did a great job of, of clogging that inside lane that Pierce is normally looking for in that particular formation. Uh, did a, a read it very well, went off the right tackle and was able to get the first down. First and 10 Curly Wolves now at the 43-yard line. One minute to play here in the first quarter. Harris takes it right up the middle once again. He's going to have almost 10 on the carry. Another good draw play to Genoa there. It looks like a first down to me, but I'm waiting mark on just official. short, I think. <laughs> They're going to bring on the, the chains. Well, I'm going to mark it down as 10 yards. It may be nine and three quarters, but I think he got it. <coughs> so we look at the measurement here. Thank you to PSE Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. And River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. So far, both offenses have been able to move the ball up and down the field. Both teams able to get an end zone one time. And the Curly Wolves were able to get that first down by the nose. Prescott driving once again here. Had twin receivers to each side. Harris in the backfield with Yates. Yates drops back to pass. Nobody's open. He's going to tuck it and run. Cuts it upfield. We'll get down to about the 41-yard line. Decision by Pierce there. Not to throw that one up into, into that coverage over the middle. I think he was looking for Avery Hubbard. He just couldn't get – Avery couldn't get – or Spencer, I'm sorry. Couldn't get across the field in time uh, th through the coverage to where Pierce could get it to him. Second down and four. Ball given to Harris. Right up the middle. Harris has a first down. He's down to the 30-yard line. Good run there by Genoa. Uh, number three, Harris. He gets down to about the Panthers' 30-yard line to be another Curly Wolf Gain of 11. Yep, and there's a flag. I think they're going to get Genoa on a fall start. I think he... Uh -huh. He was getting it going. I think he's oh, seen no. that offside. I thought he got going just a little bit too quick. I saw a few moments ago that one of the, the, the defenders was just edging up just a little bit, and I think he just got himself a little bit too far. Five seconds to go here in the first quarter. 
And that's going to start the clock. Prescott may not get this play off, and they will not. That's going to end the first quarter. You got the Falk Panthers leading 7-6 to six over the Curry Wolves. Prescott is driving now. Uh, they have the ball at the 25-yard line and looking to put uh, some more points on the board. We want to thank our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT, Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas, Hope Texarkana. UAHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. As we said at the beginning of the game, there was a, uh, an accident that took place earlier today for one of the Falk students. Uh, who's in some very serious medical situation. We do uh, ask that all of our SWAT doc today listeners and watchers, if you would please keep him in here and his family in your prayers. Football is just a game, especially when it's compared to, to life and death situations. So that's the more important thing on today. First and five now for the Curly Wolves as we start the second quarter. Yates drops back to pass, looking for Hubbard. Hubbard's got it. Good catch, and then he fumbled it, picked up by Gully. Yates pass. Waiting to see oh, if they call that incomplete or no, I'll call it incomplete. Okay. I think Spencer was able to to make a football move after he, he got his hands on that one. Good catch, but he yeah. did take a good pop. Brings up a second down in five. Yeah. Pierce had to put it in a pretty tight window there. That's still one of the plays I like, though. I, I love seeing you use the middle of the field. It keeps the defense honest. White comes in motion. Ball given to White. He cuts it right up the middle of the field. He'll have his first down, breaks it outside, and will get inside the 20 for the first down. Could run by Dwayne there. I like seeing that we're getting the wide receivers involved in the in the jet sweep plays tonight. First and ten now. The ball at the 18-yard line. Yates is going to pull it, cuts it upfield. Gully missed the block, but he, uh, Yates was still able to make something positive out of it. But he didn't hold him and he didn't yeah. clip him or anything. Looks like he's down about the 15 yard line. We're going to call that second and six for the Curly Wolf. It's a gain of about four on the play. Yates drops back to pass. He's going to tuck it and run. His receiver wasn't open, and that, that's a smart decision. Yeah, Fox playing some pretty good coverage uh, on the back side of their, their defense. Pierce is doing a good job reading it, not putting the ball in jeopardy, making a smart decision, decision and keeping it himself. He's going to pull it again. He's looking to get the first down. He's got it. And he says he was down. He, he did fumble when he landed, but Prescott will maintain possession. Yards for Curly Wood first. Balls will be marked at the three-yard line, so he gained six yards on the play. Good long drive for the Curly Wolves here, and it's been mixed up with running and passing. Yates gives to Harris, cuts it upfield, and he'll have his second touchdown of the night as he steps into the end zone for a three-yard touchdown. A great drive by the Curly Wolves there. Going 70 yards. Took about five minutes off the the clock altogether. I was able to punch it in for a touchdown. Line up, go for two. Hubbard goes in motion. 
Yates rolls out to his right. He has nowhere to go, and he'll be sacked for a loss. So the conversion is no good for two points. Prescott does have the lead back at 12 to seven. We've got 10, 26 to go here in the first half. Thank you to Dyrumple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home. Brazil Cornish is the funeral home we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Burke and Walker, you can count on Burke and Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. And State Farm Insurance, he, we're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. Now the Prescott defense is going to have to come out here and make a stop. Uh, so far tonight, Prescott has scored on both of their offensive possessions. Uh, Falk did score on their second one, but uh, the Curly Wolf defense is going to have to step up tonight because possessions are going to be very important tonight. Yeah, defenses are going to have to to make some adjustments, make some stops. But both offenses right now just it's it's almost like a boxing match so mm -hmm. far, just punch after punch, uh, going back and forth between these two teams. It's going to be the defense that can make a big stop and get their offense that extra possession tonight. Kick is away. It's going to be taken. It looks like by uh, Dixon comes back to the middle of the field. Gleason gets a lit hand on him, and then. Stopped that time by J.K. Jones. Another good return, though, for the Panthers. And yeah, they'll have some pretty good starting field position here. They haven't been backed up tonight like Prescott normally is able to do. Both teams have played pretty clean football mm -hmm. as well. Not, uh, not many penalties that have really been the big ones that, right. that can hurt you. Uh, they, uh, there have been a couple offsides and, and that, but uh, not the big 15 yarders or anything like that. So both offenses have been able to stay on schedule. Nobody's really been behind the chains or anything like that. Uh, so these guys are, are playing a really clean game so far tonight. First and 10 for the Panthers. Bulkley drops back to pass, looking for a screen to Dixon. He's got him. Rafter comes in and makes the stop. He'll still have a gain of about three or four on the play. Good little tunnel screen there to Dixon. A lot of what Prescott likes to try to do, get their wide receivers open on that screen game, uh, get the lineman out in front of him to open up some hole. Uh, good uh, pass and catch connection there for a good game. Hit eight yards on the play. I thought it was going to be a little bit shorter than that. Hadn't gotten as much pressure on the quarterback as, as we expected. It's been a lot of quick passes, though. There was a, a movement there. I was right there. there was movement on the right side of the foul offensive line. I saw it, and then I think they called it on the left side. Because it happened twice. Been impressed with Falk's pass. Offense tonight, they really That's are. That's not what we expected. No, uh, looking at the at the scouting report and, and kind of what uh, the coaches thought coming into this thing uh, that they would be predominantly running the ball, and not really taking a whole lot of shots. But uh, they they've done the opposite tonight. Second down, seven. Bulkley drops back to pass, has time. There's a throw. It's going to be a little bit high, but it's what a catch. Great catch that time by I believe number four Greer. Yeah, Greer was able to go up with one hand and bring that one in. That's another 10-yard gain, and it will be a, a first down. And the receivers have really helped out tonight. I mean, they've made some great catches uh, mm -hmm. on some balls that were high, and they were placed in good spots. The receivers just made great catches. First and 10 now for the Panthers. Buckley gives to spray Barry. Tayshawn, oh, excuse me, Talon Smith couldn't quite get him. He breaks free into the secondary, down the sideline, be knocked out of, be taken down about the 20. Great run there by Sprayberry, showing some speed, getting down the sideline. Good yards. Jamari and Burton are running down. 
a 30-yard gain there by Sprayberry. And that's really what we expected we would see tonight. First and 10 from the Curly Woods 20 with 831 left to play before half. Bulkley going to keep this one. He just got around Tayshawn Smith and then Curly Wolf defense starts it right at the 20. Keep it around the left side. Looks like he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So we're going to call a second and 10 for the Panthers. If I remember right, this senior class for Falcon, it, it may have been the junior class, but one of those two classes I know did defeat Prescott's junior high team. Um, this has been a, a program that's really gotten stronger and stronger. Uh, doing a great job here for, by the coaching staff here to keep this, you know, keep them fired up and mm -hmm. keep them really pushing and, and, and improving. Bulkley gives the ball to number 11. Scoggins. Scoggins. Looks like he gained about a yard on that. It's going to bring up third and nine for the Panthers. It should be four down territory for the Panthers. They are now in the red zone. If they're not able to convert here on third down. Bulkley can, has three receivers to the right. He's been able to just basically throw it up and these guys have come down with it. Panthers are going to call a timeout. Got 6.49 to go here in the first half. Panthers are in scoring position. Prescott leading 12 to 7. We want to thank No Way Pulpwood, Authentic American Lager. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. And PSC Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. And don't forget, uh, if you have the time, if you're watching, we would like for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All you have to do is go on there as you're watching the video and hit subscribe. And then up in the, uh, the hit the like button. And then there is a bell and you hit the bell and you are all done. There is no cost involved there. But the more subscribers we get, the more benefits we have on our end. So please do that for us. We would appreciate it. Big play right here, uh, Brandon, for the Curly Wolf defense. Yeah, definitely. They, uh, they've they got to come out and they've got to make a stop. Uh, Falk's shown that they can move the ball up and down the field on them so far. Uh, they just had the one possession where they didn't score uh, on the opening possession. Uh, but... Uh, Right now, your back's against the wall. They're, they've moved the ball down the field. They've had a couple big plays. They've got some momentum. Uh, they haven't been able to, you know, really break their spirits or anything uh, in, in the game so far tonight. Uh, so big, big uh, opportunity for a stop here. They'll get a lot of pressure. They're going to throw it up, and it'll be incomplete. And he had number eight, uh, Garner, really uh, kind of that on a little uh, flag pattern there. And Bulkley was getting a lot of pressure. Yeah, Bulkley had a lot of uh, pressure in his face. Garner was open. He just, I, I don't think he could find it. Brings up a fourth down in nine. Again, I like bringing the pressure. That, that way he's, he doesn't have a lot of time there to see. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's a benefit for the defense. And I think Bulkley put the ball where he needed to put it. <coughs> I, mm -hmm. Garner just couldn't find it whenever he, he turned and looked for it. Going to have three receivers to the right, two to the left. Sprayberry split out wide on that left side. And now Coach Glass is going to call a timeout here with 6.43 to go in the first half. Coach Glass, I don't think he had his defensive players where he wanted them, and he wanted to call a timeout to at least let them know what to expect here. Uh, thank you to Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott, and River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. And this is definitely a big, a big play coming up right here for both teams. Uh, I've been, like I said, impressed with what Falk has been able to do offensively, moving the ball up and down the field. 
Prescott's defense all year long has been very stout, uh, even in past defense. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because they're get, they got pressure. They're not really getting a lot of pressure except when they are sending extra guys because uh, they do have basically six linemen in there and then the, the rest of the guys are split out. That last time they did go with five linemen. They're going to have Lansdale in kind of in the tight end position here. Going to change up the play call here. Bulkley's going to drop back to pass. He's looking for Greer up in the end zone. It's going to be intercepted in the end zone that time by Gleason. Preston will get the ball on the 20-yard line, which actually is better field position they would have if they had just knocked it down. So good job there by Gleason to, to get that interception. Yeah, good job to have a interception. Not a bad play by Falk there to try to just throw it up and give your receiver a chance, mm-hmm. uh, knowing that it, even if you don't get it, uh, Prescott's still going to get the ball either way. Prescott will begin at the 20-yard line. So two, two good defensive plays by Prescott to stop scoring opportunities. Once was uh, on the first possession, they had the ball around the 22-yard line and it was stopped, and then that time again, about the 18 or 19. Harris is going to take this one over the right side, and he'll gain about eight. And uh, number three, Harris, he goes around the right side. And Janelle's having a great game so far here tonight. Another good hard run. Nine yards on the carry. Yates gives the ball to Harris. Oh, almost a fumble there at the handoff. Yates might should have pulled that one out. It'll be a loss of three. Yeah, that's what's tricky about that kind of a zone read plays. Is you never really know. You're not really supposed to know who's keeping the ball and, and, and whatnot. So uh, you got to be very sound in your mechanics there and uh, be, be willing to let the ball go if he's not trying to give it to you and take it if he is. Third down and three. Quick pass out to White. Cuts it back inside on the little screen. I don't think he got it, Brandon. If he did, he's got Well, the, that official on the far side gave him forward progress, it looks like. Yeah, he's, he's close. I think he would have had it easily if he wouldn't have run into his own uh, lineman there. And that is one of the linemen, number 79. That's Lofton. I don't know if maybe he got – rolled up a little bit in that. Based on where they have the ball stop, uh, marked, it is a first down. Well, Lofton was who he ran into, and it was kind of a situation similar to uh, Pierce uh, and, and Dwayne last week. Right. Kind of blindsided each other, and uh, Lofton got the worst, worst of it there. Can't <laughs> tell right now if they're working on a leg or not, so we will, we will wait and just see what situation is here in a few moments we will thank our title sponsors gilbert lumber if it's time for a project we've got what you need to get the job done bank of delight the biggest little bank in arkansas yates maintenance heat and air experts for your home or business uaht curly wolf football is proudly sponsored by the university of arkansas hope texarkana UHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors (coughs) and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. They were able to help Lofton off the field. Did look like it was a leg injury. (coughs) That will change up the offensive alignment a little bit. They'll move Patrick out to tackle on that right side. He was playing guard. Yates drops back to pass, looking for Hubbard. He has it, goes to the middle of the field and slips down in that mud. He gained about seven or eight. Yeah, that's probably the worst part of the field uh, that, that we can tell from, from where we're at uh, in, in field condition-wise. Uh, but a good job uh, to get that ball out there to, to Spencer. I'd like to see Spencer come back a little bit more to that, not wait for it to come to, come to him. 
The quicker you get it, the quicker mm -hmm. you can go. Yates drops back to pass, looking for Gully. He's got him open over the middle. Great job by Gully. He got hit by three guys, but good job to hang on to that one. Yeah, did a great job to hang on to that. A little slow to get up. Hopefully, just the wind. He got. Oh, he might have got rolled up a little bit. There was three Panthers, kind of pretty much right on him as he brought that one in. A great focus to to hang on to that one. So it's going to be a gain of 15 yards. Now bring Prater in now at his spot. Yates, he's looking deep for White. White oh, got that one. What a catch there by Dwayne White. Yeah, double coverage. Pierce did a good job of putting the ball outside the numbers and uh, letting uh, Dwayne run and, and make a play there. Uh, he missed. He missed one earlier, laying out just off the fingertips, but did a great job there to bring that one in. Get down to the 10-yard line, a 38-yard pass play there. First and 10 now at the 10. Yates drops back looking for Johnson over in the corner. He's got it. Touchdown, Curly Wolves. I like that play. When you got someone with that size, it's a, it's a great, great use of, of his talent in the corner of the end zone. Yeah, it's just like going up and – Getting a rebound, kind of box somebody out, go up high, high point the ball, bring it in and get a foot down. Tony Romo and Des Bryant made a lot of money doing that. Sure did. And, and there's still combinations of that. That's right. Today. Ramadan on for the extra point. Kick is up. And it is good. So the Curly Wolves extend their lead to 19 to seven with 4.20 to go here in the first half. Been a great first half so far as these two teams have really battled back and forth with their offensive uh, ball, ball movement. Uh, the defenses are, Prescott has come up twice, but it took them to the, to the red zone. It was a bend mm -hmm. don't break defense and it's worked, but uh, I have a feeling they're gonna change some things maybe in that, mm -hmm. at, at halftime. Thank you to Dyrimple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish, the funeral home, we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Burke and Walker, you can count on Burke and Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. Ramadan will be set to kick it away this time. Anxious to see if they may try to kick it a different direction. Dixon has done well. Sprayberry has done well on their returns. Prescott will be getting the ball to start the second half. Yes, short kick. Dixon's going to take it at the 25 and will be taken out of bounds around the 35. Stetson Dixon takes a kick off about the 25 yard line. Good return there. I think he could have had a, a better return if he wouldn't have slowed down after he caught it. He caught it in stride, but had to slow down to catch up or to stay behind his, his blockers. They'll start at the 36 yard line. This is where they started their last possession. Got 4.13 to go here in this first half. Bulkley with Sprayberry in the backfield. Ball given to Sprayberry. Good job by Rafter. Great job. He was right there at the handoff. And Rafter's continuing his, his great play that he's had all year. You know, with the exception of really that one long run that Sprayberry had, they've contained him mm -hmm. well uh, in the backfield. I've noticed that 
Prater, they've got him now out on the corner. Mm -hmm. Usually he'll play a safety position, but right now they've got him matched up with Lansdale, and that typically is really their best receiver. Uh, but tonight uh, they've taken him out of the game so far. Yeah, he hasn't been much of a factor. Ball given to Sprayberry. This was the play they gained. Big yardage on a while ago, and I believe that's Rafter again to make the stop. And he's going to have just a gain of a couple. Good job by Talon Smith to really mm -hmm. push him back inside. Sprayberry's moving around a little gingerly. He's gotten hit quite a bit tonight, and I think it's starting to take a toll on him. Well, he's not a very big guy. I mean, he's 5'11", but he weighs 145 mm -hmm. pounds, and that uh, that's that's pretty light when you're talking about getting hit by Rafter and some of those mm -hmm. guys that are pretty good size. Third and eight. Bulkley going to keep it, and he's going to have the first down. Wow. That was not the play I expected, but great job by Bulkley to, to complete it. Yeah, he's, he's shown some good capability to carry the ball when uh, Falk has asked him to. He's had some pretty good runs and extended some plays and got some first downs. It's a gain of about 11 on that play. Good play calling by the Panther coaching staff. They really mixed things up well, kept pre uh, kept Prescott mm -hmm. off balance. Bulkley gives the ball to Scroggins. No gain. Good job by Tayshawn Smith there. Coming off the edge and making a good tackle right at the line of scrimmage. One fifty-four to go here in the first half. Play calling of, of the Panthers has, has been really impressive mm -hmm. the, the, with the long drives that they've had. They've had been able to take a lot of time off the clock um, and keep Prescott's offense on the sideline. That's right. At, but at the same time, they're still moving the ball and, and having some success of their own. Second and ten. Ball given to Sprayberry up the middle, and he's going to score. And Sprayberry to the house. That was 51 yards, and just the middle of the defense for the Curly Wolves was, was not there. Yeah, great job up front by the Panthers to open up a hole for him, and he's able to hit that next gear and, and run past uh, the defensive secondary and, and put on the Jets and take it to the house. Daniel will be on for the extra point. Just when Prescott had kind of gotten that momentum with the uh, two touchdown lead, it's been taken away with the, the huge run there by Sprayberry. He's had two big ones tonight, and he's you know pushing 100 yards mm -hmm. already in the first half. Extra point is up, and it looks good. That draws a score 19 to 14, 119 to go here in the first half. Thank you to State Farm Insurance. We're here, here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. No Way Pulpwood, an authentic American logger. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. And PSC Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. There again, I think that was the off balance of, of the play calling. That was not the play I expected yep. to see that, there at that time. Uh, two two big opportunities uh, that the P Panthers were able to capitalize on that drive. The third and nine where Bulkley was able to get the mm -hmm. first down and then that big run there by Sprayberry. Yeah, they've done a really good job of mixing things up and, and going kind of off script. Mm -hmm. Daniel set to kick it away. Looks like he's either going for an angle or it could be an onside kick here. Curly Wolf defense and return team needs to be ready. It's going to be a high kick. And White's going to take it at the 30. Looking to get in the middle of the field. Can't get away from it. A great tackle there. I can't see. No, I think that's number 80. Great Carson job. I'm in there. Sophomore for the Falk Panthers. Making a, like I said, a, a great tackle there on, on White. 
Prescott will start at the 30 yard line with a minute 12 to go. Here in the first half, I believe Prescott has two timeouts remaining. Prescott definitely has the, the receivers to be able to make things happen. Looks like P.J. Gully is now back in for Prescott. Prescott kind of going with a little bunch look on each side. Gates is going to keep it. He's going to look for, oh, nice job. He throws it down to Gully. Gully's able to make one man miss and then will be tackled at about the 43. Yeah, a great catch by P.J. there. Able to stop it with one hand and tip it back to himself, and it takes a lot of concentration to do that. And while you're running and, and in to, traffic, <laughs> yeah, in traffic and getting a good first down. First and ten. Yates is going to roll out to his right, looking for him. Gully. He's got him. Gully gets knocked out of bounds, be inside the 40, and now I think he got hit on that hip again. A little slow to get up there. Good throw by Pierce Yates on the run. Going to be gain of 18 on the play. Sets us Prescott up at the 39-yard line. Yates, quick pass out to White. Cuts this one up field, and he'll be close to another first down. Good job by Dwayne making that first guy miss. And getting first down yardage, this is really good execution of this of what your two-minute offense is right. supposed to look like, getting the first down, getting down, getting out of bounds, making sure that clock stops. Yeah, he's just going to just spike it. Makes it a second down and 10. The Panthers are going to call a quick timeout here. So we got 28 seconds to go here in the first half, and Prescott's driving. Uh, looking to try to get more points on the board before halftime because they will get the ball to start the second half. Uh, I want to thank Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott, and River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. They should put a few, a few more seconds on the clock if they mm -hmm. call a timeout. I think we're at 32. Wait and see kind of how. This plays out. This is a, a, a like you said, a great execution of that two-minute offense. We saw Prescott do that uh, against McAllister. Mm -hmm. They were able to move the ball all the way down the field, um, and it's it really works well for Prescott's offense. It's kind of how it's designed. Kind of makes me think of seven-on-seven uh, -seven football. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never participated in that. We didn't do that when I was in high school. But you were a part of that, and it just seems like it, it, it's a lot easier for teams to get in that mode now. Well, especially with the type of offense Prescott likes to run, they they, they want to go fast. They want to wear that defense down. They want to get going before the defense can really adjust and, and get situated in, in what can stop the play that you're designing to run. Uh, so the more that Prescott can keep that up-tempo going and uh, make the calls as they're running to the ball, uh, that doesn't give Falk a whole lot of time to get uh, lined up correctly and can, can create big plays for the Prescott offense. That's why you see people faking injuries on Saturdays. <laughs> That's right, yeah, to stop it. Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss is good mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, we'll see it tomorrow. Maybe. That's right. Yates drops back to pass. He's looking for Johnson. He's got him wide open. Touchdown, Curly Wolves. Uh, there was nobody there. He went right by the corner. Yeah, great route. Getting down the sideline. Pierce did a great job of stepping into that throw and putting it on him. A big score right before half. Great execution of the two-minute offense. And not leaving just a ton of time on the clock for Falk to do anything. They have shown that they've, they've had the capability of making some big plays. Yates with a quick pass out to White. Two-point conversion is good this time, and the Curly Wolves extend their lead to 27-14 to 14, uh, on the two-point conversion from Yates to White. 
Well, that's exactly what you want to see. You know, I, I give all all credit to to Falcon what they've been able to do offensively tonight. They uh, they had their backs against the wall when Prescott had that two touchdown lead, and they came right back down the mm -hmm. field uh, and had an, another impressive drive uh, and put Prescott back on the on, on the watch. You know, mm -hmm. really, you know, what are you going to do? And Prescott answers. Yeah, and that's what it's been pretty much all night. Uh, Falk is only not scored on two drives. I mean, mm -hmm. each team has had four at this point, uh, but they've, they've moved the ball very consistently. They just stalled out when they got to the red zone. Prescott's uh, defense tightened up, uh, but they're, they're still in this ball game. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not common for them to still be in this ball game at this point right. over the past couple of years. So uh, a great job by them and their coaching staff preparing for this week. And uh, coming out ready to play, I, I've been impressed with what they've been able to do. I'm more surprised at the, looking back at the score, of what the, the game was between them and Junction City, exactly. that it turned out the way that it did uh, with the way that they played tonight. Yeah, I would like to have seen what uh, Junction City did to stop this offense uh, different than what Prescott's really working on. It's going to be a short kick. It's going to be taken by Dixon at about the 25. Good job by Benton this time. That's been the most uh, effective kickoff and kick coverage tonight. Yeah, Benton did a great job flying down the sideline and making a tackle there. You know, probably give back their worst starting field position for tonight. With only 16 seconds left, I don't believe they have any timeouts. I don't see any. No. They've used all three. They'll start at their own 30 here. 16 seconds to go first half. Now, they've shown they can throw the football, mm -hmm. and they can show they can score quickly. They've had a long run, and they had a long pass play. Sprayberry has definitely, you know, if you look at the just certain little plays, Prescott has contained him. The thing is, though, he's had two big plays, mm -hmm. or actually three uh, big plays that have put Falcon on the scoreboard. Long touchdown pass, and then the 50-yard touchdown run. Bulkley with Sprayberry in the backfield. And they're going to just take a knee, Panthers take let a the knee clock run out, and that'll end half, so the half. The half. So that'll nice end our first half with the Prescott Curry Little Wolves leading 27 to 14. We'll be back here in a few moments with our halftime and our second half. Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Is your system struggling to keep up? Experience the comfort of Yates Maintenance Heating and Air. It is our mission to provide world-class service and HVAC solutions backed by our certified indoor air quality expertise. Visit YatesMaintenance.com to find out more. You want an education that's going to take you places. To know that your instructors are going to support you when the work gets hard and cheer you on when you succeed. You want programs that fit with your busy life, challenge you, and put you on the path to the career you've always wanted. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, 
you can. I can't accept the loss, I'm hard headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading out. one of the oldest and most respected banks in Arkansas. Our strong reputation is based upon our financial stability and our community leadership and our customers knowing that they can depend on us in the good times and the bad. We would like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for giving the biggest little bank in Arkansas the opportunity to assist you with your financial needs. You don't want your education to be on hold. You want an education in HVAC that prepares you for good jobs right now. Where your instructors teach you the skills you need to be competitive. You want to be prepared to enter the workforce immediately. And you want to stay out of debt. At UAHT, you can.
Ladies and gentlemen, for your halftime entertainment tonight, please welcome the Wolf Pride Marching Band. Band is under the field direction of band captain, Senior Addison Dickerson. Is your band ready?
featuring Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones, Black Magic Woman by Santana, and Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Soloists are Caleb Hornaday, Mia Griffin, Nayla Zatrine, Connor Jordan, and River Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Panther Band from Monsterland, the Falk High School Panther Marching Band.
Gilbert Lumber is Prescott's premier shopping destination for all your home and outdoor needs, providing top-of-the-line quality products combined with economical, friendly pricing. Paints, tools, equipment, building materials, lawn, garden, farm, fishing, hunting supplies, and much more. If we don't have it, the gang at Gilbert's will try to get it. Stop by Gilbert Lumber today. Go, Go Curly Wolves! Welcome back to Swart. Today, second half action of the Curly Wolf football. Daniel will be set to kick it away to looks like it's going to be Johnson and Gully back deep, and then Preston's going to go with four across the middle. It's going to be Yates, Hubbard, Gleason, and Prater. So this is, uh, I guess, maybe they're expecting, possibly. Either an onside kick or earlier, than, so far tonight they've been keep, kicking it short. Mm -hmm. So Gully's going to be back there around the 25 yard line and hope to be able to catch one and get a good return here. Oh, it's going to be an onside kick. It goes out of bounds. So Prescott will have great field position on the miscue there on the onside kick. Prescott should be able to take possession at the 50-yard line where it goes out of bounds. Big opportunity here for Prescott to go punch it in again. Get that three touchdown lead. That three-score lead is going to be big tonight with the way these offense have played so mm -hmm. far. Harris in the backfield with Yates. Yates, quick pitch out to Harris. Cuts it up field. Good hard hit on hitting the hole there. Get out to maybe the 43-yard line. Great job by uh, Rodney Nichols there for the Panthers to get a hand on him and drag him down. Genoa had a lot of space to work with if he could have got past that second level. Bring up a second down and short now for Prescott. Oh, Yates dropped the, and now he's going to quickly throw out there to Hubbard. He's got it. Makes two men miss, and we'll get down inside the 30-yard line. What a, that was a really good play, and I don't think that's the way it was drawn up. Yeah, it was a great drive by, by Pierce to, to get that ball. It was low snap. Picked it up. Thought about just tucking it himself and running it. Realized there was nothing there. Looked up, saw that uh, Spencer's still in a good spot for him to get the ball out to. And uh, Spencer was able to make a couple guys miss and get a first down. 15 yard pickup there for Hubbard. Yates gives the ball. Oh, he's going to keep it this time. A great job, way to pull it there. And he'll get down to the 20. Gain of eight yards. Brings up a second and two. Make it second and one. Yates drops back to pass. Has time. He's looking for Hubbard. He's got him over there and it threw it behind him, but Hubbard made the adjustment to make a big play. Yeah, great wheel route there by Spencer. Good job to adjust with that ball in the air and come back and get it. Hoping he might get in the end zone yeah. that time, but he just wasn't right in front of him enough. Gain of about 15 yards. Gates gives the ball to Harris. Looking to get in the end zone. He will step in for the five-yard touchdown run. Yeah, that's his third touchdown carry tonight. You know he's having a good... Good night and being rewarded for it. Got 10 25 to go here in the third quarter. Prescott on for the extra point. Hubbard to hold. Kick is up. And it is good. And Prescott now has a 34 to 14 lead. Thank you to Gilbert Lumber. 
If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT, Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. UAHT provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. <clears throat> Prescott's offense has been <clears throat> really, really smooth tonight. Uh, we talked about it earlier. They had cut down on, on uh, penalties. Uh, they've been able to do a, a really good job of, of executing the run game and mm -hmm. the passing game. Yeah, the, a much cleaner game than what mm -hmm. we've seen pretty much the past couple of weeks. They've had some bad penalties here and there uh, that set them back and and got them off schedule. But tonight they've, they've been able to clean those up. We see that on the scouting report every week. Uh, no penalties, cl clean up the penalties, no dumb penalties, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they've done a really good job at, at that tonight. Robidon now set to kick it away. It will again be a squib kick. This one's going to be – oh, it's missed that time by Lansdale. It's a live ball. <coughs> Lansdale was looking like, hey, I didn't touch it, but <laughs> it's a live ball. So Curly Wolves come up with a huge play. I believe that was Spencer Hubbard who came up and recovered that one. Yeah, great job to get down there and get the ball back. I don't think that was necessarily – the intention was to get the ball back. I think it was just kind of on, on uh, par with what they've been doing tonight to to combat that good return game that uh, the Panthers have had and uh, just kind of a, a mental mistake there for the Panthers' return team, and Prescott's going to get another quick possession. And they'll get it at the 30-yard line, the, the best field position Prescott's had all night as far as starting on their on their offensive possession. K.J. Page in at tailback now. Yates fakes the handoff to Gully. He's going deep to White. White's got it. Touchdown, Curly Wolves. One play, Yates to White on a 30-yard pass and catch. A great job by the offense getting back out there. Sudden change, taking a shot. And he's another one that's really had a good night tonight. Dwayne has had a lot of catches. He, he's laid out for the ball. I've seen, I guess you say, more determined effort mm -hmm. from him tonight. Well, he's had to. He's, he, Pierce has put the ball in some in some tough locations, mm -hmm. uh, but it, but Pierce has had to do that. Pierce has had to make some pretty tough throws tonight, Agreed. and the receivers have, have gone up and bailed him out. Probably not kick. Him out. It's up. And it is good. So with 10-13 to go here in the third quarter, Prescott with a uh, unexpected uh, a quick shot there and able to to get a uh, get on the ball on the kickoff. They did a squib kick. Uh, Falk didn't get on the ball, and so Prescott was able to capitalize on that and take a 41 to 14 lead. Thank you to Dabra Pocrane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home. Brazil Cornish, the funeral home, we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Burke and Walker, you can count on Burke and Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. And I, I really expect Prescott to do the same thing here on the kickoff. It's been more successful than what they've tried earlier. <coughs> Yeah, and the whole point of that was to, to keep their return men from getting it with a good head of steam going. That just really worked out well from that last go around. Robert Don's done a great job this year on, on kicking the ball. It, it's whatever that he's been asked mm -hmm. to do, he's done, he's, he's executed it. And given the coverage team a chance to to do their job. A little short squib kick. That was taken by number three, McMurray. Looks like about the 41, 42 yard line. Prescott's defense on the field for the first time here in the second half, and Prescott's been able to put up 14 quick points. To extend their lead 41 to 14. 
in what was a very tight contested game mm -hmm. at halftime, those two extra touchdowns right there really changes the dynamics of what Falk's going to have to do in the second half now. Bulkley drops back to pass. Throw is caught. Oh, it was incomplete. Excuse me. I thought Dixon came down with that one. Yeah, great job by Tayshawn to, to get a hand in there and punch that one out. Dixon's made some great catches tonight. I just expected that one to be another one. 9.58 to go here. Third quarter. Second and 10 for the Panthers. High snap. Sprayberry was able to get back on that one. Well, I'll tell you, as smooth and as clean as their first half was, these first two snaps of the ball here in the second half have given Falk some trouble. Backs them up to a third down and 13. Panthers so far tonight have shown they can execute on third and long. See what they're able to accomplish here. Got three receivers, there's gonna be two receivers to the right. Looks like Dixon's kind of holding that right arm a little bit, so I'm not sure how effective he could be as a receiver at the moment. Bulkley does drop back to pass. He's gonna look for Dixon. He's got him wide open, and he's just not able to catch that. I, I really think his arm is, is hurting him right at the moment. He's jawing a little bit on that sideline. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity there for the Panthers. Had a wide open receiver. Unable to bring that one down. I wonder if he hurt his shoulder there in the first half. I don't know, but he's definitely favoring that right arm. Here's a penalty against Prescott, so that's going to be a most likely a 10-yard penalty, so it still will be third down. Well, let's see. Okay, it's just a five-yard penalty. So it's going to be a third down and about eight. More manageable here, but I really think Bulkley needs to to look for a different receiver because mm -hmm. I don't think Dixon is where he can make the play right now. Officials are having a conference again. A little bit of confusion. I think they've got everything straight now. I think they were confirming what down it was. Got Dixon and Greer to the right. Lansdale is off to the left. Sprayberry in the backfield. Number eight there jerked a little bit. Tied in. He's going to stay in and help block. There's a good, good job by Prater just to get a hand on it. And again, they went for Dixon. And I, I mean, I. <laughs> I just don't see that he's he's where he can make a catch right now with what's going on with him, whatever that may be. Yeah, he's showing a lot of frustration over on the sideline. But great, uh, great positioning by Prater there, keeping his eyes on the quarterback when he's doing his read and, and his drop steps there. He's able to get a hand on that one and knock it away. Lansdale will be to the right. It's going to actually be three receivers to the right, two on the left. Bulkley <laughs> drops back to pass. He gets pressure there. Prater's going to get that. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it. 
Ooh, he had a, an interception there for sure. Another good read there by Prater. Just unable to bring that one in for an interception. Could have been a big uh, opportunity for the defense to, to get on the board themselves. Prescott's going to take over this time. The ball is going to be at the, it's like the 45-yard line. And I'm starting to hear a little bit of jawing back and forth between these these two teams, and it's officials are going to have to try to keep things in check. Yates drops back to pass, has time, looks for Gully. Great catch by P.J. Gully. He's made some really great catches. I really all Prescott's wide receivers has, but P.J. did a great job of, of turning his body midair and, and making that catch behind him. A good little dart from Pierce to, to put it in there. Another tight window. Receivers going out making plays for him. 27-yard gain. The receiving crew that Prescott has, th there's a lot of guys here that could definitely play at the next level uh, as wide receivers. And, and and I mean that I, I don't know necessarily at a, at a Division One school or anything, but they can definitely do so at Division Two. Yeah, they all have great speed, great size. Yates looking to get that one off too. Hubbard, he does. Hubbard makes whoa, almost got by him. Took a little hit on that one. Good composure by Pierce Yates there. Little bootleg pass. When he faked that handoff and turn, you know, he had that defender right in his face, but was able to still get the ball around him and get it to, to Hubbard there out in the flat. Second down and about one. Pitch out to box. Not much to do there, and I believe there is going to be a hole like you could. Fans hollered for it, and you could pretty well tell that it's going to happen. A little bit of a late flags as well. That's like I said, we, we could tell there's being a little bit of tempers flaring right now. Everything needs to be kind of back under control. Don't need anything unnecessary going on. This could be some big penalties here, though, against Prescott. You'll have a holding. And then after the play, you're going to have a probably a personal foul as well. Not sure if they were offsetting. I didn't see what took place, but the foul crowd definitely was hollering. Personal foul against Prescott. A 15 yarder backs Prescott back up to around the 28 yard line. Let's make it a thought it would be a second down. And the holding. Okay, now that's that makes sense. That's what it should have been. It should have been a 15, mm -hmm. and then also minus 10 for the holding as well. So that's going to be 25 yards. And we talked about that at, at halftime, how Prescott had really eliminated a lot of those kind of penalties. Uh, but this one here has definitely backed them up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Preston's going to have to get down to about the seven yard line. So it's really a second down and 30. And they're still showing first down, but it should be second. I'll take that back. It was a holding, so that would leave it, give them back their first down. My mistake. Page in the backfield with Yates. Yates does drop back to pass, has time. Going to look for, oh, he really, Yates was off on that one. He, I don't know yeah, if he didn't was, see 44 or not, but. Well, that was well behind Hubbard. Hubbard was a lot further upfield than what Pierce thought he was, I believe. And Pierce almost put that one right in the hands of uh, Taylor Howard. <laughs> I don't know if he didn't see him, but that was definitely his worst pass of the night. <laughs> Second down and 30. White, Gully, and Hubbard to the right. Johnson to the left. Ball given to Page. Page bounces it out to the outside, cuts it back inside, looking to gain 10 or so yards. I'm gonna say he probably gained maybe 12 back See where he got to. We mark it at about the 23. So gain of about 14 on the play. That helps make this a third and about 15. Bring up third and long for the Curly Wolf. Prescott taking their time, letting some of this clock run. Yates drops back to pass. He's looking for Gully. Gully goes up. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Kind of a back shoulder throw it looked like on that one. Yeah, threw it to that back shoulder. PJ just was unable to bring that one in. Good uh, position by the defender there. I think if PJ tries to fight back towards that ball a little bit more, he mm -hmm. gets a pass interference call. That could help him out there. Fourth and 17, Preston's gonna go for it here. Too far for a field goal. Too short for a punt. Yates drops back to throw. So step up in the pocket. He gets away from one, but he cannot get away from the second. And that'll be the first field possession for the Curly Wolves tonight. Gain of about four yards there for Yates. Yeah, I have to wait and see what's happened here. I don't know it. That was on Prescott or not? I didn't see. Did you see what had happened over I didn't there? Didn't see what it was. It was in the area to where Pierce was tackled. Unsportsmanlike against Prescott. Not sure who, but that's going to be a 15-yard penalty, and we'll give Falk some extended yardage after the turnover on downs. We talked about how clean the game's been, and they've uh, done a complete 180 here coming out of halftime. Note to self, don't make that <laughs> comment next week. Speaking of next week, the President Curly Wills will be at home next week and will be facing the Homer Pelicans. Uh, Homer is having another successful season and they have a, a rich heritage of football. Uh, it, it was a great game last year. Prescott was able to win nine to nothing. I can I can bet that Homer's going to come and want to try to revenge that uh, next week. So if you get an opportunity, please come out and support the Curly Wolves as they will face the Homer Pelicans. Ball handed off to Sprayberry. Cuts it back upfield. The good gain there by Sprayberry. Yeah, good carry by Sprayberry there. Get him a good six seven yards. <clears throat> Good tackle by Muhammad. A little slow getting up again, and uh, I think it's just, I think it's really those tackles that has been the the biggest uh, struggle for him. He's done great when he gets in that open field. He's got good speed.
Scoggins in the backfield with Bulkley. Oh, excuse me, that was number 12. Bulkley keeps it. He'll be stopped in the backfield. Good job by Muhammad and Prater that time. Yeah, Prescott dialing up a little bit of a blitz there, bringing some extra pressure and, and made a good stop behind the line of scrimmage. Going to be a loss of a yard on that play. Approaching five minutes to go here in the game. Lansdale to the right. Greer and Dixon to the left. Bulkley looking for Lansdale, wasn't there, tucks it. Looking, trying to get the first down and will be stopped short. Good job that time, I believe, by KJ Page to make that stop. That may have been Tayshawn Smith. I think it was Paige that made that stop. Sometimes I can't see the numbers when they get them all wrinkled up. I think J.K. Jones was in on that too. It was a five, a six, or an eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, I look for the shoes because I know that K.J. has those kind of pinkish colored shoes, mm -hmm. and I can usually see that underneath the tape, and I thought that's who I saw get up, but. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Panthers are going to call a timeout. Prescott leading 41 to 14. We want to thank Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. State Farm Insurance, we're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. No Way Pulpwood, authentic American lager. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, the easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance. Let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. PSC Spray Services. Pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos. The best Mexican food in Prescott. River Valley Tractor. Your local Kubota dealer. And as we mentioned earlier, if you are watching us on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. As you're watching this video, hit like after you hit subscribe, and then hit the little bell up in the top, and that will allow you to become a subscriber. This will allow us to, to do many more things as well as be very beneficial to us. So we appreciate you doing that for us. There's no cost to you, and it allows us to do some really cool things for you. So help continue to support the Prescott Curly Wolves. Fourth down and three now for the Panthers. Sprayberry back in the backfield with Bulkley. All right, after timeout, fourth and three for the Panthers. They're on 38. Ball given to Sprayberry. Cuts it upfield. He will be stopped short, and the Curly Wolves will take over on downs. Like Tayshawn Smith. Coming up, making a big stop there to get the Curly Wolf offense back on the field. So far tonight for this Falk offense, they've had two possessions and they turned it over on downs both times, uh, not able to get things going offensively like they did in the first half. The Prescott's defense, I'm sure the coaching staff really talked with them about making some adjustments, and they've done very well with those adjustments. Yeah, and, and we've seen that multiple weeks in a row that uh, – Curly Wolves have been able to to make some good adjustments defensively and offensively at halftime and coming out and, and executing uh, the game plan uh, even after the changes. Yates goes up deep. He's looking for Gully. He caught that. What a catch. I don't know if he was in Did bounds. He's... He was out of bounds. Okay. Yeah. And that was really a, it was a good throw, good catch, just not in bounds. Looks good, just didn't count. Yates gives the ball to Harris. Right up the middle, big hole for, for Harris. He gets the first down, and he'll get down inside the 25. 
great run by Genoa. He's had a great night tonight. Gain of about 13 yards. Page in now to give Genoa a break. Page is on the carry. Breaks it outside, makes one miss. And there's going to be a probably a horse collar tackle there. Yeah, I didn't think, see a whole lot of harm in, the, in what he did. He, he grabbed him, but didn't pull him all the way down. But that is what the call is going to be. Usually you only see it if they actually get drugged down. Well, the, it's supposed to be called any time they grab inside the the shoulder pads, even if even if they grab it and let go. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what ended up happening there. Well, that was what they called. That'll be an additional 15 yards. It was eight yards on the carry for Page. And then... If it wasn't 15, it was at least half the distance. They got it marked at, uh, okay. They're going to mark it at around the 12. So that's going to be a first down for the Curly Wolves. Ball given to Page again. He cuts it up inside. Oh, great job by, by Page. He kept his balance. That was an excellent yeah, job. Made, Touchdown for the Curly Wolves. Yeah, he made a lot of Panthers miss there on the way to the end zone. Two or three and then was able to keep his balance and stretch out and get the ball across the, uh, the goal line for a really good touchdown run. Great effort there by Page. Three thirteen to go in the third quarter. Robidon on for the extra point. Kick is up, and it is no good. And so that will make it 47 to 14. And that extra point was pretty big there that uh, did not go through. So Fack will now receive the kickoff. Prescott's been able to score three touchdowns here in the second, in this third quarter, uh, and really do a good job defensively in keeping uh, Falk from getting any positive yards. They, I mean, they I'm not even sure, going back here and looking, I think they only got uh, one first down, maybe two in this second half. Robidon brings kicking team out. The next home game for the Falk Senior Out Panther will be senior night. It'll be November the 2nd. That's a Thursday night. Your Panthers will be home. Kind of hard to believe that the regular season is 70% done just, you know, after tonight. Put the winding down. Only three games left That's right. for the regular season it's after this fast. one. Another squib kick there by Rob Adon. It's going to get in, picked up at about the, well, oh, he's going to finally get on it that time. Uh, I believe that was number six. That's Noah Pittman there. Very indecisive that time. I think he panicked a little bit whenever he couldn't pick it up that first go around and saw everybody closing in on him and he was trying to, to get it, get it get the ball in his hands and get up, but uh, I think he made the right decision there to just grab it and stay on his knees. They will start on their own 20-yard line. Bulkley going to hand off a 
believe that may have been number 12. Yeah, number 12 on the carry. Boone Johnson. Gain of a yard. And it seems like once they've been backed up in these in this setting here, they've really gone to the run. Uh, you know, in the first half, they, they were starting their field position at the 40, 42-yard mm -hmm. line, and they were able to really open up their offense. Oh, bad snap. Bulkley picks it up, and he just falls on it back to the – that's seven or eight. Just like Prescott came out in the second half, you know, making some mistakes. The Panthers have done the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just one of those things that, you know, what adjustments do you make at halftime? <clears throat> and sometimes it's in how you play or what you're doing uh, as far as what plays you're calling mm -hmm. or what, what adjustments you make. And then sometimes it is strictly just not execution, mm -hmm. not executing. Bulkley looking to throw. He's going to get Dixon there on a little screen. Davis and Talon Smith make the stop. Yeah, good cover, but coverage by Cliff Davis there. And he did take a good shot there by Talon Smith there at the end. I believe there might have been a gain of a, a yard or two on the play, but not much. It's going to bring up a fourth down and I believe this is the first punt of tonight. I believe you are correct. Prater's going to be back deep at around the 40. And we'll have a good chance of a return. Prescott hasn't done much punt return this year. You know, a lot of times they just go back and uh, let the ball drop. But it's going to be a, a low punt. Not going to get a return this time either. It's going to roll dead at about the 38-yard line. Forty-five seconds to go here, third quarter. Number twenty-two, Corletto comes out. Be in the backfield with Yates. Ball given to Corletto. Hits that hole. He has some room. Ba bounces back to the inside, and he'll have a first down. Good run there by Corletto. A good start to this drive. Good uh, run by Corletto, like you said. It's good to see him getting in there, and, and he's been able to get in there a, a little bit more mm -hmm. these past couple of weeks in, in that mop-up role, and he, he's showing some good speed and some good uh, ball-carrying skills. Makes another good cut. Strong run. I'm sure that's very rewarding because I bet Corletto's running that scout team running back yes. during the week and it's taking some bumps and bruises uh, trying to trying to prepare each week and to come out on Friday night and uh, to have some success like he's had so far uh, this year is, is, is good to see and, and it's good to be rewarded for, for your hard work. I agree. Four yards on that carry. Ball given to Corletto again. Hard runs right up the middle. Uh, <clears throat> won't get the first down on that carry, but that's going to end the third quarter. Prescott leading 47 to 14. Uh, the Curly Wolf offense has really done well here in that third quarter. Uh, it, it's been, uh, I thought it was been, I think it's been a very physical, very good game in that first half with both teams really taking some good shots at each other offensively. Uh, we can just see the adjustments and, and possibly mm -hmm. even the, something that's helped too is the numbers that Prescott has to put on the field. Yeah, I think that's shown a little bit, a lot like last week. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just the 
the numbers that Prescott's able to throw out. Guys aren't playing both ways. Now, Falk doesn't have as many playing both ways as what we've seen uh, over the past couple of weeks with some other teams. But uh, they're, they're, they're limited in their numbers, like you said. And uh, I think that has, has taken its toll here in the second half. Thank you to our title sponsors, Gilbert Lumber. If it's time for a project, we've got what you need to get the job done. Bank of Delight, the biggest little bank in Arkansas. Yates Maintenance, heat and air experts for your home or business. UAHT, <laughs> Curly Wolf Football is proudly sponsored by the University of Arkansas Hope Texarkana. UAHT provide, provides free career and technical classes for Prescott High School juniors and seniors. Visit the high school counselor to find out more. We're getting set now for the fourth quarter. The ball is marked at the five-yard line. Prescott can get a first down. Well, I think they may have the ball marked at the wrong. Or maybe, maybe he got four yards that last carry. I thought maybe he didn't, so that's. All right, we'll take that. Second down. Yates gives it Corletto. Oh, and he slipped down right at the five. He tried to cut back and, and couldn't. A whole lot of pushing and stuff going on right now. The guys are getting tired and tempers are getting short. Third down and one. Yeah, he gives it to Cornetto again. He makes one miss, a good job of cutting it inside. He'll have the first down as he gets down to about the one. Gain of four. I expect he'll get it one more time here, Brandon. He gets it inside to the end zone. And that was a Corletto 38-yard <laughs> touchdown drive. Yeah, good drive there. Punching it in. With this new group of guys in on offense. Rabadon set to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. It is good. And so Prescott now with a 54 to 14 lead. And they will be set to kick it away here in a few moments. That should get the clock running for the rest of the game. We do want to thank Dyrupple Crane Accounting, bringing you professional accounting services year-round. Brazil Cornish Funeral Home, the funeral home we care. Pafford Medical Services, let us take care of everything. Burke and Walker. You can count on Birkin Walker to assist you with all your tax and bookkeeping needs. Prescott Automotive, providing Prescott, Arkansas with quality car care at affordable prices. <clears throat> this is one of those games you can kind of, you write down as it's been a, a tale of two, diff, two halves, you know, mm -hmm. where uh, the first half it was Extremely competitive at 27-14 at halftime, and Prescott's come out and been able to put it on 27 points in the second half without allowing Falk a chance to get in the end zone. They've limited the big plays, eliminated mm -hmm. them. Yeah, they, they they made the right adjustments at halftime, and it's, it's easy to go in and, and talk about what you want to do, but to come out and execute it, is uh, is a totally different thing. So hats off to uh, the Curly Wolf defense and the Curly Wolf uh, coaching staff. David uh, Robinson turned around with a kick, number 14 on the return for. An, yeah, that's going to be a horse collar there as well. <laughs> and looks like that was number 40. That was Wesley Rash that got his hand inside the shoulder pads. 
We'll add a 15 yard penalty there for the end of this run. And they will start in Prescott territory, I believe. They won't quite get there. They'll be at about the 48 yard line to start it. I don't know that it was a face mask, but maybe it was. Penalty be the same. Nine minutes to go here in the game. Clock will continue to run. Ball handed off to number 12. Good strong run there by Boone Johnson. Gain of about 12. Yeah, Boone's come in here uh, really at the end of the third quarter, into this fourth quarter here uh, kind of to give uh, Sprayberry a, a break, and he's done a, uh, a good job filling in for him. Two receivers to the left for the Panthers. Bulkley gives the ball to Johnson. Good strong run there, about four yards, tackled by Davis. Mark it with a three yard gain, so it'll be a second and seven. Lots of flags there, I'm not sure. Or whistles, I should say. Flag on this side. Ball start against the Panthers. Make it a third down and 12. Bulkley gives the ball to number 31. Gain of about, about six. Number 31, Tristan Bessie. Tristan Bessie on the carry. Gets those penalty yards back, five or five yards. Thank you to State Farm Insurance. We're here to help life go right. Call Lee Doucette today. Bulkley drops back to pass. Looking for a receiver. Oh, Dixon does have it. And we'll get down inside the 35. Good run there by Dixon. Good throw and catch. Yeah, Dixon did a good job coming back to his quarterback there and catching that one and getting some positive yardage. Gain of about three. He's going to bring up a fourth down and four. Johnson in the backfield now with Bulkley. Johnson on the carry. It's around the edge. He breaks a tackle. Get down the sideline. We'll get inside the 10. Good hard run there by Johnson. Yeah, that's a big play that Falk's been missing here in the second half. 
Brought in some fresh, fresh legs with Boone Johnson. He's able to make a big run down the sideline. Just couldn't quite punch it in. But he's going to get another opportunity here. 32-yard gain there by Johnson. Johnson gets his handoff. Fumble on the play. Cliff Davis has the ball in his hand. I, I don't know actually how they could call that one, <laughs> but maybe they did. I never heard. I never heard the whistle blow. I didn't either. And it is a fumble there. It is a possession to Prescott. Second turnover tonight, I believe, for the, they had the interception earlier than that. It was the fumble. Prescott's going to take over on their own, looks like two, maybe three yard line here. Three minutes, 34 seconds to go here in the game. Thank you to No Way Pulpwood, Authentic American Logger. You hug them, we cut them. Farmers Bank and Trust, easy banking for busy living. Visit myfarmers.bank. Shelter Insurance, let Eli Ratcliffe find you the right coverage at the right price. PSE Spray Services, pesticide, herbicide, and aquatic applications for residential and commercial. Casa Carlos, the best Mexican food in Prescott. Prescott will take the field with three minutes to go here in the ball game. Stockton will be in at quarterback with number 11, Dickerson, in the backfield. I think Fout jumped off sides. Oops, sorry. Offside Falk, and that will give Prescott five yards. Excuse me, that's Witherspoon in the backfield. So that five yards helped Prescott to get out of the goal line, or off the goal line. And it gets it down to two minutes. Stockton gives to Witherspoon. He'll be out to around the 10, game maybe three. Thank you to River Valley Tractor, your local Kubota dealer. Reminder one more time, if you're watching us tonight on YouTube, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and then the bell at the top. And that will help Today be able to do a lot of things for our community. And we would appreciate it very much. Second down and about three. Stockton gives the ball to Witherspoon. Or excuse me, that's number 29. Uh, Williams on the carry. He's going to gain him maybe around five yards. Gives Prescott a first down. And from this, it should only be maybe one or two more plays. Yeah, Prescott's making some mass substitutions. Trying to get some guys, making sure everybody gets in there. This should be able to be the final play of the game. Stockton's getting everybody set where he needs them to. Some of these guys may be playing positions they're not used to. Stockton gives the Witherspoon again. No, excuse me, I believe that was number 43, if I saw that correctly. 43 is what I saw. I don't know exactly who that is. I don't have him listed on the roster, but that's going to end our game tonight. 
Prescott Curly Wolves come away with a victory. They move on to 6-1 and one on the season, 3-0 uh, and oh in conference play, and it sets up then the big game next week. That It's a non-conference game, an out-of-state game. Uh, the Homer Pelicans will be coming in to play the Prescott Curly Wolves, and uh, this is going to be a game, folks, that if you're – uh, don't have nothing to do next Friday night. You need to come out and watch that game. It's going to be very competitive. Uh, it'll be a great football game, great environment with uh, great tradition for, mm-hmm. for both those teams. It was a, a great environment last year. Yeah, last year they showed us great hospitality. It's now our, our turn to uh, return the favor um, and welcome them in and have a good ball game, uh, one that's one that matters on in the win-loss column but doesn't really hurt you and where you stand uh, in your conference and everything like that. So going to be another game against some really good competition. Uh, Getting out of here tonight, uh, making some some good adjustments, playing a great second half, playing a a much cleaner game in my opinion, except for maybe about a five, six-minute frame there. Uh, But everything went Prescott's way uh, from pretty much the the word go tonight and got to carry that in next week and and keep building on uh, what you've been working on all year, uh, getting ready to make this uh, playoff run. And exactly, you know, like we said a few months ago, that the the season is 70% over as far as the regular season goes. You hope you're only 50% done. Mm -hmm. You hope you're able to carry that on into the playoffs and make a strong, long run and hopefully get a chance to be back in uh, in Little Rock at the end of the year. But we're, we're thankful for you joining us uh, here on Swart Dot Today. And the person Curly Wolves come away with a 54-14 to 14 victory tonight. And we'll be at home next week and we'll face the Homer Pelicans. We'll see you next week here on Swart Dot Today. Y'all be careful and God bless.